Hello YouTube, LJ Draco here. Yes, uh, this video, as you know, Monday's anything goes day for me, for my channel. Uh, and I've, I've realised I've not actually been uploading many videos at the moment. And I do really, really apologise for that because, you know, uh, with obviously the changes in the room and everything and with stuff going on, I've not really had a chance to upload as much as I would have liked to. Um... I may have to change the 3D review days from Wednesdays to Fridays, so there'll be a 3D review a few hours before the live stream. Uh, Wednesday might just be standard Blu-ray or movie reviews. I think that's a better way to do it, just so that way it gives me a whole practically four or five days to prepare to watch a 3D movie. And as I said, we've ordered a new wall mount, so this TV will be raised and slightly over uh, to the right so that we can start watching 3D movies properly and once that happens um, then I can start doing proper 3D reviews again I'm trying to get this all done in time for when uh, all the new 3D movies come out between this month and next month uh, as, you know, as you know there's a lot of movies coming out in 3D so this video is basically going to be two topics rolled into one video it's going to be why I prefer 3D over 2D, which I think I've talked about slight bits of in other videos. But it's also going to be, what happens if 3D does die? Um, and what will happen with me and my channel? So, uh, let's just get into this conversation anyway, cause just to talk about it. Um, so, why do I prefer 3D to 2D? There are certain movies that I'd much rather watch in 3D than in 2D just because it gives you that experience of the fact that you're sitting there behind the camera and it's like you're taking part of the movie you're helping direct or you're helping set the scenes up and you know it just it feels or it, sometimes it feels like you're a part of the movie as like an actual real life story you know uh, a, good, a good example is like Pacific Rim because of all the nice in-depth scenes, when Gypsy Danger is walking through Tokyo, you know, you feel like you're one of the citizens, like, looking up at the giant robot and um, sea creature. You, you're waiting for the fight to happen. It's like you're there. And I kind of really enjoy that feeling, just, just because it's... It just it gives the film an extra feel to it. Now, I don't know if anyone will agree, but watching a film in 3D compared to watching it in 2D, you just you feel like you've lost some magic. Whereas to me, with 3D, it's, it's gaining some magic. You know, you get to see some really nice in-depth and pop-out shots. Uh, my favourite 3D is when stuff comes out of the screen a bit more than, you know, the in-depth look. Just because I like the idea of being able to sit in my bedroom <coughs> and the movie come out to me instead of me go in. But, you know, they're both still really enjoyable. <laughs> so... I, I do prefer 3D to 2D, but there are a lot more movies out there that still just look as beautiful and perfect on 2D as they do in 3D. Or don't have 3D releases and probably don't need them because they look good in 2D. Um, I would say I, I, I like 3D movies at a full on 10%. Whereas 2D movies, I like at about a 9%. So as you can see, it's not much difference between the two. Uh, 3D movies, 10%. 2D movies, 9%. It's not that bad. I like them both just just as much in a way. But I, if I had to watch any movie in 3D, then that would be the better choice for me. I would, I would rather watch them in 3D. Now, what happens if 3D dies? That's the question I think every 3D collector is asking at the moment. Just because 3D seems like it's going to be more non-existent sooner than we thought. Uh, as, as you can see in shops now, like in big stores, like, <coughs> like Curry's or anywhere else like that. Um, standard 3D TVs are much harder to purchase than a 4K 3D TV. Because, you know, and even those, there's very there's a very minimal amount of actual 4K. I actually done research. There's a very minimal amount of 3D 4K TVs. There's only a slight few models been made. Um, and they're planning to stop being sold next year. So, in order to get 3D TVs now, 
um, by next year. You're going to have to look on second-hand sites or eBay or, you know, as we got in Gumtree in the UK, you guys in the US have Craigslist. That's the only kind of stuff that you can do afterwards to get out of a 3D TV if something happens to yours. Now, the good thing about the one here is I've got a five-year guarantee, so if anything happens to it at all within the five years, um, I can get a, a newer model, an upgrade or whatever at the time. So it's, it's, it's nice to know that you've got that kind of support for it. But within that five years, if something does happen to it, I'm only going to be able to upgrade to either a 4 or an 8K at that point if it comes out. You know, it's, it's not going to be 3D. So it's kind of, it's heartbreaking to think about it because in fairness, I've done quite a few 2D videos about 2D movies and just standard Blu-rays and DVDs and just movies. But the main thing my channel was going, was meant to be based on was 3D because there wasn't that many 3 When I first started out, there actually wasn't a lot of 3D videos out there. So I wanted to be one of the first people to kind of come out and say, look, you know, 3D Blu-rays. This is what you can expect. <laughs> so knowing that 3D is going to die soon and it's not going to be as big as it was, it's going to affect the channel a lot. Because I, I don't see myself collecting standard Blu-rays for the rest of my life. I, I'm definitely not going to be collecting 4K Blu-rays. So it's kind of hard to think about it, you know? It's kind of hard to think whether or not this is going to happen. Because look, now, they're already not releasing a lot of good movies that should have 3D releases. Don't. I mean, the new Power Rangers. Uh, Logan hasn't got a 3D release. Um, I think I was told that Logan wasn't filmed in 3D, which is fine. But films like Logan or the new Power Rangers and some other movies that didn't get 3D releases that should have aren't because they just don't want to bother with 3D anymore. Which sucks. I mean, we're still getting some good 3D Blu-rays out there that's coming out soon and that, but it's very minimal amounts. Very, very minimal amounts of 3D Blu-rays out there. Um... So I guess the best thing to do is if you want to watch 3D and want to enjoy 3D, try and get a 3D TV now. Try and get it before they all stop. And try and buy as many of the cheaper 3D Blu-rays as you can um, while they're still out there for what they are. Um, so yeah, so the video that was, the 3D review that was supposed to go up on, on Wednesday last week it was actually supposed to be the Ghosts of the Abyss 3D. I still haven't seen the movie. I haven't seen the 3D yet. Wait until the TV is raised uh, before we can watch it. Uh, once that mount turns up, we are going to get it done the same day. And once that's done, then we can watch it. You know, it, it won't be as bad to watch it. If I sound really unenthusiastic during this video, I am still quite tired and ill. Me and Alice haven't been very well recently. Um, we've still got colds. Um, only difference is I've actually managed to get some sleep, whereas Alice is struggling to get sleep. Um, but she did upload a video yesterday. She uploaded her split movie review, so go and check that out if you already haven't. Link to her channel will be down below. Um, and she is sorry she didn't join the live stream last Friday. She just felt, towards the end, she just kind of felt panicked and, and stuff. And she wasn't exactly well as it was. And she didn't really want to join in because she felt like she might feel embarrassed and stuff. But she said there's no guarantee. She said she's going to try and join this Friday. She'll try and join. She'll try and get, get the courage to actually join in and stuff because she wants to join in she just feels too awkward sometimes yeah um and as i said in the live stream i don't think no one, i don't think anyone heard me because no one said anything so i don't know if if did 
Uh, at some point in the future, I'm planning on doing some kind of like a podcast thing where, um, so you, there won't be like, there won't be my actual camera, like recording. Uh, it will just be like an audio with some screenshots and, or just, um, whatever. I, I don't know how that, I'm going to have to watch some videos on podcasts to find out how to do it. But the podcast kind of thing will be like me, like something that my friend Arthur suggested, but in this way instead of the way he suggested it originally. So what is, I'll watch a movie during the podcast, but I'll be watching it through either headphones or really quietly in the background. And then what I'll do is like scene for scene, I'll be talking about what I thought of each scene, how I'm thinking the acting is doing, do I think that the the cast are great, do I think that the story is great, do I think that the that the picture quality or what the sound is good and stuff like that. So it's kind of it's a thing to think about for the future. I'm not guaranteeing to do it. But you know, it'd be kind of fun to do. Um so yeah, I I just I don't know what I can really do much else now. Um, since the last live stream, so it's only been about four days. Uh, but me and Alice just got really ill. So as you can tell by the video today, I'm just really not with it. I don't. I didn't even really feel up to doing this video. I just remembered it's Monday, and I was like, oh, I've got to do anything goes video. Um. I don't know what topic to talk about, so I thought I'd talk about what if 3D dies, what's going to happen to my channel, would I can I don't know, that's the thing, I don't know what I should do, because when 3D does die, and 3D Blu-rays stop really being sold, and stuff like that, I don't think anyone will, I, I know, I know, like, my friends, and some of my subs will continue watching my channel, and I know you will, because you're all there to support me, but I don't think my channel will have as much meaning, if I stop with 3D or 3D stops in general, I think my channel will lose most of its meaning. Therefore, people will just lose interest because then I'll just be doing the exact same videos as everybody else and there won't be any differences between them. But I don't know. I just have to see when the time comes, I guess. <sighs> anyway. That is the end of this video. I'm sorry this video was really dull and boring. I do apologize. <sighs> anyway. If you enjoyed this video and previous videos, don't forget to strike the like for future videos. And if you're new to this channel and have only seen a couple of my videos, show your support. Click that subscribe button. I'd surely appreciate it. Anyway, take care, you wonderful people. And I'll see you next time.